In this tutorial, we are going to have a look at the program settings. You find them in the settings menu. In the settings editor, you will find seven pages with settings in different categories. On the first page, we find the general program settings. This switch lets you use a custom background color instead of the default blue. Here you can set the resolution for your workpieces. A lower resolution gives you faster simulations, while a higher resolution gives you better looking workpieces at the cost of a slower simulation speed. In most cases, we recommend the medium setting. This switch lets you select what type of buffer to use for milling workpieces. You can read more about it in the program help. It should normally be set to 2.5D. Here you select your measurement units. This switch activates the crash test for simulations. Here you can use radius coordinates for turning machines. It should normally be turned off as most turning machines use diameter values in the x-axis. Turn on this switch if you are simulating a macro program. This switch is used when you want to use the tool offset registry. You can read more about it in the online help for the simulator. It should normally be turned off. Turn on this switch if you want to use diameter values for your tool offsets. This switch will take away the need for using MO6 to execute a tool change. Many turning machines do not use MO6. Turn on this switch if you are using a turning program with four digit tool numbers. Under the License tab you will find information about your program license. Here you can also apply your license string after buying a license. On the proxy page you can set the parameters for a proxy server in case your university or workplace are using one for connecting to the internet. On the machine page you can set values that are unique to your machine. It will affect things like analytics and alarms. On the files and folders page you can set where the program should store different files. Normally you can leave these as they are set by default. On the performance page you can control how the graphics is rendered. If your PC is slow it can be a good idea to turn off some of these switches to improve performance. Below the switches there are shortcut buttons that will help you make settings for the type of computer you have. If you do not experience any performance issue, use the highest setting for best graphics. On the miscellaneous page we have put various other settings. This switch is used when you have an external jog controller. Here you make the font in the editor larger. Use this switch if you want to see line numbers in the editor margin. These are not the same as block numbers. If you want your pause points to be saved in your CNC programs, activate this switch. Here you can define the workspace for your machine so it becomes visible in SimCam. This switch is used if you want to simplify curves in SimCam. In SimCam, you can snap to point in a group of objects. This setting limits the number of objects that can be in a group for snapping to be active. Activate this switch if you want to clear large toolpaths after simulation to save memory. Here you can exclude codes that should not be simplified when using that function. If you turn on this switch, CNC Simulator Pro will suggest the fast backplotting function for huge programs. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss future tutorial videos. Have a great day.